We're getting ready to do sublimation onto a sequin pillow. Three different photos, full size photos. So I have this one here. We got the TikTok design. And we got Miracle herself once again. Um, what I do do is cut off this access down here at the bottom. And all we're going to do is just put like, this on here. You do want to make sure that they're all kind of flipped the same way. Um, it's kind of hard to tell with the white pillows whether or not they're all flipped the same way. But we're going to go ahead with this. I think I got them flipped all the same way. I print my image at... Um, it is printed at 13, in, uh, th 13 inches wide, which is the size of the paper, by 15 inches down. Um, because these pillows are roughly about 16, um, inches by 16. I'm going to cover it with my paper. And we're going to press this at 400 for 60 seconds. Again, we are putting three pictures on one sequin pillow. Normally, I do this with just regular photos, but I am still creating um, pieces for a little girl's bedroom. So I decided to do one of these pillows. Last week we did the nine panel pillow for her bedroom. And the week before that we did the clock. This week we'll be doing her, this pillow here, this sequin. And then I'm going to do a blanket and maybe a license plate. About 10 seconds left on this first side. Um, one thing that you do want to do once this comes up is give it a few minutes to cool because it is really hot and we have to do we have to flip these as you can see it's smoking coming off of there so I'll set that to the side so that's the first image and I'm just gonna pick it up and kind of let it cool for a moment Good afternoon, Melissa. So, that should be okay. It's going to be hot still, but all you want to do is take and flip all of these the other way. So, I just start at one end and go on down to flipping them the other way. It is still really, really hot. And for these white pillows, I don't normally sell the white pillows regular, like with just the one photo, just my color pillows. And this is the reason why, because you can still see the image, even though it's flipped. Unless you put two pictures, two photos on it, you can still see the photo when it's not the right way. And I, I just don't like that. You can do it with the silver pillows as well. You can see that image on the other side. Sometimes even with the colored ones, you can too. And I just don't like that. Okay. So I think I got all of those flipped the opposite way. And then with your second photo, what you want to do is try to line it up as best you can with the first one I never get them exactly lined up the same way which is fine it don't have to be exact but you want to get it close to it so that's the second image we're going to press this at the same amount of time Hey, Tyrandria. I think that's how you say your name. Mrs. Smith. Anybody have any questions? These pillows are back in stock. They've been back in stock for a while. Uh, 
I just hadn't had time to do a live on any of them. I'll probably come back later this week and do one on just a regular without flipping it and doing another picture. Like I wanted to just solid color ones. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> so this is picture number two that we are pressing on here. I got one more. Let me go ahead and turn off this paper. And you don't have to press these at 400 for 60 seconds. I've done it at 400 for 45 and 385 for 45. It just depends on what my heat press is on. Um, picture still comes out really, really good. <clears throat> so somewhere between 385 and 400 for somewhere between 45 seconds and 60 seconds. So this is picture number two. That is so pretty. And for picture number three, because this is one pillow with three full-size pictures. As you can see, this is here, and her other picture is under there. I'll do a flip, a complete flip, um, after I'm done. And I'm going to put this to the side. I want to lay a piece down here. And the reason why I'm laying a piece on here is so that there's no transfer of this color so that I don't get it on my next project. I'm going to flip this on this side. And we're going to press our last picture. Again, my images are printed at 13 by 15. I already tore off a piece of paper. So we have that. This is the last photo that'll be going on here. Thank you. They are beautiful colors. I love the way they come out. My heat press is sized at uh, 16 by 20. It's a 16 by 20. I bought it from Amazon. It's a Frasier heat press um you can also get it from fraser website i think that's the way it's pronounced fraser um i did have one issue with it um but it's a common issue for all heat presses and that's with the um the uh, the fuse going out so i had to change my fuse once since i've had it and i am going on like a year and a half now of having this one i've been through three so this has lasted me the longest i had them swing aways I could not stand them. I had two of them. One was, I started out with like a 12 by 15, moved up to a 15 by 15 once that one broke down. And then I got this one. All right. So all three pictures have been subbed onto this pillow. I'm not sure if I got any stuffing, but if I do, I'm going to stuff it and show you the end results. But this is the third side. This is side number one or two. And then we also have a flip of her on the opposite side. This is really hot. Whoop. But you all get the gist of it. That's the third one. So I think this one is my favorite, so this is the side that I'll leave it on for when I give it to the customer. Alright, thank you all for tuning in today, and have a good one.